guys and welcome back. Today I have an empties video for you for September 2018. And let's talk about my trash, trash talk. Let's see what's good and what's bad. So the first thing I used up is the BB Thickening Conditioner by Bumble and Bumble. I bought this on gratis back in, I wanna say March, right before I shaved my head and I didn't need it. This was very, very thick, but it did thicken. My only complaint is that it, you put a little bit on and you don't feel like you saturated your entire head, so you gotta put more on because it's so thick. You gotta add a little bit of water to make it go into the hair. And then by the time you today rinse your hair and hair um, blow dry your hair, it does thicken your hair. So it does work, but it's very expensive. I can't remember how much this was. I wanna say like $23, $26. So definitely a waste for me to get it on gratis. I have pretty nice hair and the $3 stuff works just as good. So I will never again be buying this. Let's smell it. I think it smelled good. It does smell really, really nice. So if you're looking for a nice conditioner that smells good and thickens your hair, this is definitely one to check out, but I would not repurchase this based on the price alone. So not for me, but I'm glad that I tried it. The next thing is another thing that I got on gratis. It is the Clinique Antiperspirant Deodorant Roll-On. And this costs, I believe, $13. The thing about this is that it's not empty. It's almost full, but it went rancid on me. It smells terrible yeah I put it on and on my way to work I cut I kept smelling like caramel I'm like what smells like car like caramel caramel and I realized it was me is this it turned like a weird sweet stinky smell and I'm like I am not I'm not gonna keep wearing that so I did buy it on gratis it wasn't something that I went out and just bought you can see it has the the line through it so I can't return it but so it wasn't a total disappointment because I didn't actually buy it. It was given to me for free. But at the same time, that was $13 I could have spent on getting something else that I actually really enjoy. So I did have to throw this away even though it wasn't quite empty. And what I did was I went to the to the Walmart. I sound like such a small town girl. I went to the Walmart and I bought a deodorant for 99 cents, which was the Suave 24 hour protection tropical paradise. And on the day that I bought this, it was kind of cold outside and I left it in my car, forgot to bring it inside. Next day, it was almost 100 degrees, and this melted all over my car. It smells really nice, but it melted all over my car. So I had to go to Walmart and get another deodorant. So this one is now completely empty, and I used it literally one time. No, wait, twice. The day I bought it, and then the next day before work. And then it melted all over my car seat, and so there was this giant wet spot on my in my car oh, car seat on my on my car passenger side car seat of my car. I keep I keep saying car seat, and people think I'm talking about like a baby seat. No, it's the seat in my car. That's not the driver's seat. The other seat, the other car seat. <laughs> Anyways, um, it melt. There's this giant wet spot. I'm like, what is this? And I'm like smelling it. It doesn't have like a whole big smell. And then I realize, oh. This melted all over everything, so that's now another empty. <laughs> so I was talking about gratis and something that I could have used that put that $13 towards. I need another bottle of this ASAP. This is the Beyond Perfecting by Clinique. And it's empty. And I'm sad because this is the best concealer, especially for under eyes. Oh, I got a little bit left. This is the best concealer for under eyes. It is in the shade Linen. It is light enough, it is thick enough, and it's just a teeny bit yellow. And let's see if it'll, has a little bit left for me to swatch. This is my favorite shade of foundation that Clinique makes. It is a little on the thick side, so I would definitely use a brush to brush it out, or even possibly a, a, a sponge. Just a little bit of this as concealer, and then go over it with your favorite liquid foundation, or powder it is beautiful it is full coverage and it looks mm, I love it so much I've been using other things because I've been out of stock on this out of stock. I just can't talk tonight I've, I've been out of it so I keep waiting for gratis to drop and gratis was supposed to drop at the beginning of September and they changed it to the beginning of October and it is September 30th it's like 10 p.m. and I'm like does it drop at midnight I need to order my beyond perfecting I need to never go without it I need to order a backup because I love it so much I've worked for Clinique almost three years, and I think this is probably the fifth bottle of this I've gone through. 
um, because it lasts a long time. But what I'm using right now is this um, Anastasia Porcelain Stick Foundation. And I actually found this at TJ Maxx for like $8, $10. So you can tell this one's a little bit light as far as the Clinique one is a little bit more yellow. And this is a lot thicker. So I've been using this because it was only like eight bucks as compared to this, which is 29. But this is definitely worth it. I love it so much. I can't wait to order this on gratis. Another item that I ordered on gratis is from Clinique is the Almost Powder Makeup in 03 Light. As far as pressed powders go, this is my favorite from Clinique. It comes in the classic Clinique Green Marble Compact. And yeah, I really like this one. It gives a really nice blurring effect and it gives you some coverage and keeps you mattified and keeps you just dry and not shiny. I know I'm wearing the Becca highlighter today so I do have a little bit of shine but as far as powders go, this is definitely my personal favorite from Clinique, the Almost Powder. But I think the compact I'm going to get is going to be the Double Wear from Estee Lauder in 2-in-1. Um, what is that one called? I can't think right now. But I think I'm going to switch to that one and try that one out. Um, but I do really, really enjoy the Almost Powder as well. See any other Clinique things in here? Not that I see. Oh. Here's another one. Another Clinique item that I used were some makeup removers. Take the day off. This I do not like on my face. I, I don't like this for my face. I use this on swatches and then I use this to clean my brushes. Even to clean my brushes, I didn't like it. So if I receive this again, which I did just receive some um, yesterday, I put it to the side for a giveaway. I don't know if that's gonna be a giveaway I do on my channel or a giveaway to friends and family. It'll most likely be on this channel, so keep your eyes peeled. I have a giveaway planned for sometime this fall. Hopefully in October I can announce that. I have a lot of things going on right now that I'm really excited to tell you guys about. I just don't want to announce anything and then it just fall apart. So keep your eyes peeled. Keep out for videos. And I know I haven't been making very many, but I have some planned and one of those might be a giveaway. But I did use two of these mostly to clean my brushes. So Makeup remover does clean brushes really well. You just want to make sure that you rinse them and dry them all the way so nothing stays um, in it. If you're wondering what's on my lips, today I'm wearing by Tarte and it is the Glide and Go Buttery Lipstick in Pink Palm and it has little palm trees all over it. Let me swatch this for you. It's this color. There's barely anything in here. I just got this yesterday so it's just a little trial size. But that is how it looks. It's just a really pretty um, everyday pink. And it smells pretty nice too. The next thing I used up is by Assured. And these are cotton rounds. And there was 80 in here. So I used these twice a day with my clarifying lotion from Clinique. I actually didn't use any clarifying lotion this month. I used some other things for my face, some other tonics. But I do like the Clinique clarifying lotion and acne solutions the most. And I use that twice a day, every day. The things that I used this month instead of that is I did go through a little Pixie Glow Tonic. This has 5% glycolic acid. Not a huge fan of this, and I couldn't really tell by this little size. I mean, yeah, it gave me a glow, but I do like the Clinique better, and this stuff is a lot more expensive. The other thing I went through was the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Treatment. Aging. Anti-Aging Treatment. It was fine. I like the clink better. And then I did used, I did, I'm just all over the place, so. The Origins United State Balancing Tonic. Again, I like the clink better, but it was nice to try different things. I love to try different things. I love sample sizes so I can try things before I buy them. So um, I have a lot of sample size items and that's what I like. Speaking of sample size items I did not like and I hated, was this, it was Hey Honey, Take Away the Drama Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel-Off Mask. Literally two uses in this thing. This is so thick that you get a whole bunch in your hand and you start to try to spread it around. It's so thick that you only do like half your face. So then you gotta go back for more and try to make the layer thick enough that you can actually peel it. And then as you go to peel it, it takes out all your little baby hairs and I couldn't do it. 
The first time I did it, I looked up directions on how to do it, and I actually read directions for a different peel off mask, which said to put lotion on your skin, and then put the mask on top of it. So that's what I did, so then the mask peeled really, really easily. And then the second time I did it, I realized that the first time I did it, I read the wrong directions, and this one doesn't tell you to put lotion on your face. So then I didn't put any lotion on my face, and I put the mask on the second time, and it was so hard to peel off and pulled all my hairs, I just had to wash it off with soap and water, with face wash and water. I did not peel it. So this would be a huge thumb down for me. If I ever received anything like this again, I would give it away. It is definitely not for me. I do not like peel off masks. I like ones that you put on, let it wait, and then just rinse it off. So. I would never never use that again. Another Origins product that I did use up this month was a Perfect World Age Defense Treatment Lotion with white tea. I like this one more than the other ones that I mentioned, but I still, and this one smells really good, I still do like the Clinique one better. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this again, but it smells good. That smells really nice. Speaking of smelling really nice, I used up from the Body Shop. This is the British Rose Exfoliating Gel Body Scrub. My husband was a huge fan of this. I kept it in the shower, and every time I took a shower, there was a little less and a little less and a little less, and he pretty much used up this whole thing. He also used up this whole thing. This is the Charcoal Magic by um, Victoria's Secret Pink, and it's a purifying body scrub. And so I had this sitting in my shower for the last couple months since I did that Victoria's Secret haul. And now I know that my husband really, really, really likes body scrubs. So I will continue to buy body scrubs. He puts it all over his face. He's like, this feels so good. So now I know he likes body scrubs. And he used this a lot on his face too. So he was a huge fan of this. He was a huge fan of this one too. Other things that we used up is the Tahiti Island Dream. Um, shower gel from Bath and Body Works. So Bath and Body Works every month or two sends me a coupon to get a free travel size body ooh, shower gel. So this was one that we got a while back, but it smells really nice. So I'm gonna go look and see if they have this scent maybe again because they did just send me another coupon to get another freebie. So loves it. I love Bath and Body Works. <laughs> I have so many other sprays. I have so many other body butters and body washes. Another thing I used up is my Real Technique sponge. I know it's pretty gross looking. So I need to get another one of these. I haven't yet because I have been loving using my buff brush that I got in my Boxy Lux. The first couple of times I used this, I didn't like it and it shed like crazy. But after I washed it and let it dry, it hasn't been shedding as much. So I have been loving this for foundation. And yeah, I think I'm gonna use this for a while before I buy another sponge. It may be a while before I go back to a sponge, but this thing sheds like crazy. This is the Luxie. I don't know if you can even see that. I'm pulling out a bunch of hairs. This is the Luxie 732 Airbrow Airbrush Foundation. And right now, it is my favorite buff brush. Okay, let's keep going. So it's gonna be a while before I buy another one of those. Okay, and the next thing I used up is a conditioner by Nexus. Nexus, Nexus. Nexus. I can't talk at all in this video, so I do apologize. And this is the conditioner that we received in our Allure Beauty Box. I did cancel that, because I didn't think that it was worth it. This one smells okay. It wasn't my favorite. Not my favorite thing to receive in a beauty box, so canceled that, and yeah. Another thing I used up is by Philosophy, and it's Melon Daiquiri Body Wash. This one smelled good. Yeah, I like that one, so. Use that one up too. Also used up a shampoo and conditioner by the Grandpa Soap Co. Witch Hazel Shampoo and Conditioner. I hated these. Yeah, I uh, I don't like the way they smell. I didn't like the way they re they acted. So I would not receive. I would not get these again. But I didn't get these. I didn't pay for these. These were in a freebie box. So not a huge fan of that. Also used up the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. After using this entire thing and then getting another version of it in my Boxy Lux, I do not like this. I don't like the Smashbox primer water, and I didn't know that until I bought it. I got this in gratis, used up the whole thing. I don't like it. 
Ugh. I does not have a smell to it. I just don't like it. So, would not repurchase that. Today, uh, today I used by Urban Decay the All Nighter. I already like this so much better. This is the first time I've ever used this. Used it today for the first time. Liked this so much better. So I think I'm going to switch to this or just keep trying around for different setting sprays. But I know now I like this one way better. All right, next thing we used up is It's a 10 Miss America Miracle Leaving product. This smelled really good. I couldn't really tell a huge difference of what it did to my hair, but it smelled really nice and I would definitely use this again if I got it. All right, we only have a few things left now. This month, I finally used these up. I got these a long time ago. The Rich Radiance Shea Butter Cleansing Wipes. There's only 30 wipes in here, but I do not use these on my face. I would use it during filming for wiping off swatches, swatches on my hand. These suck so bad. So right now, today I've been using the Take the Day Off wipes. Um, during my lip monthly video, I was trying on different lipsticks. This is what I used to take off my lipstick and it works wonderfully. These work, these are the best makeup remover wipes, towelettes I've ever used in my life. Everything else that I've personally used have sucked. So these sucked, but I used them to take off wipes and sometimes I'd have to use like three just to get the wipes, the swatches off and it still would leave stuff and I'd have to go wash my hands anyway. So it took me a long time to use those up, but finally they are out of my life. I also used up a sample of the Green Seed Pure Sugar Scrub. I think this is by L'Oreal. I couldn't really tell that this did anything. It was such a small sample. It was hard for me to even use it on my face because once you got it out, you had a little bit of water. You couldn't even really use it. So. It's kind of pointless to send samples this size. And then I used up two masks by a Sephora brand. We had the gray clay mask and the green clay mask. Both of these were fine. I like clay masks, couldn't really tell a difference. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase either of them. It's just fine masks anywhere. But I do like green, I do like clay masks. All right, and then I actually used up some makeup this month. I used up the Too Faced blush. It is Love Flush and So Happy Together. I like this a lot. I really like the Too Faced blushes. This is a really cute compact. I've had this for a long time. Got it in a gift set last summer, two years ago, three years, I don't know how long it was, but I did really enjoy this. It came with another color of this and a highlight. And yeah, I like little gift sets. I like little tiny, teeny tiny things, so finally used that up and I would definitely look into buying more Too Faced um, blushes. And then I used up this mascara. It is the Pure Big Look Waterproof Mascara. And I think maybe I just got an old one. This was came in a gift with purchase. And I think it was just old. And yeah, it's it needs to be thrown away. It's just too old. But I am wearing all my eyes today. If you see that glitter, that is from a Pure Cosmetic, their Sweet 16 um, palette. So I do really like, let me show you. This, I just got this yesterday and I really like it. I got it at Ulta and it has filled with glitter. And check that out, you guys. Um, I am wearing that shade on my eyes right now. I really like this. I just got this and I'm excited to play around with this, but that's not what this video is about. All right. And then I used up a s moisturizer. It's the Privage by Elizabeth Arden. And I think this one was the red one, right? This one was just okay. It's not anything I would buy again and it's also expensive. Then the three fragrances I used up this month, I got Pleasures by Estee Lauder, a teeny tiny little sample that I've had for a long time that is already kind of trying to discolor at the spray. So it was time to use that up and throw it away because it's starting to turn. And then I used a Taka Florence. And I like this a lot more because you could actually pop off the lid and just kind of pour it instead of having to use like a water, a roller ball or a little spray. So this smelled really, really nice. And then I also used up the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which I actually mixed in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer that I received 
in my Boxy Luxe box because it smelled so horrible. I actually mixed these perfumes into it. So in addition to spraying on spray, setting spray, I'm actually spraying perfume on my face. Um, this one. So I actually took the lid off of this and I put both of these in here to make this smell a little bit better. And I don't recommend you doing that, but this smells so bad. If you receive this in your boxy looks and you actually like the way it smells, let me know. So it's actually wearable now. It's not so bad, but believe me, this smelled so bad. It's the Serene Greens. Oh, but the perfume helps. <laughs> That is all my empties. I'm sorry that this video was all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.